This is second grade Go Math, chapter six, um, part three of the unit review. Amy has 408 beads. She gives 322 beads to her sister. How many beads does Amy have now? Then we have some questions to answer about our work. So 408 subtract 322. 8 ones subtract 2 ones is 6. I, I have 0 tens and I need to take away 2 tens, so I need to regroup. I have 3 hundreds now. And then um, this 0 tens becomes 10 tens. 10 tens subtract 2 tens is 8 tens. And 3 subtract 3 is 0. Let me put that 0 there. So Amy has 86 beads. Did we regroup 110 as 18 ones? 110 as 18 ones? No. We didn't need to regroup in the ones because 8 subtract 2 is 6. Regroup 100 as 10 tens? Yes, we did that. Subtract 2 tens from 10 tens. 2 tens from 10 tens is 8 tens? Yes, we did that. So that shows our work for that, that part of the problem right there. Next, we have Raul use this method to find the sum, 427 plus 316. So when we look at Raul's method, we see that he added 400s and 300s and got 700, 2 tens and 1 10, 3 tens or 30, 7 plus 6 is 13, and then he added, so these were partial sums, and the final sum is 743. So if we use that same method, 200s and 300s are 500s, 2 tens and 1 ten are 3 tens or 30, 9 ones and 3 ones are 12, and when we add that up, we have 542. So what did Raul do? Another way that you are probably used to seeing Raul's strategy is by taking the number and writing it out in its place value, breaking the number apart into its expanded form and you've seen a you've seen that um, even on this assessment so that's another way to look at what what Raul did and so then you have the 400 plus 300 is 700 the 20 plus 10 is 30 and the 7 plus 6 is 13. so describe how Raul solves the addition problem Raul breaks the numbers up by hundreds, tens, and ones to add. You could also say that Raul adds by place value of hundreds, tens, and ones. But that is the third part of this unit review. And there's your work.